The Seaplane Experimental Station, formerly RNAS Felixstowe, was a British aircraft design unit during the early part of the 20th century. Topic creation During June 1912, surveys began for a suitable site for a base for naval hydro aeroplanes, with at first Shotley or Mistley on the river store. Ultimately Felixstowe was chosen and the formation of the new naval air station, along with another at Great Yarmouth was announced in April 1913, to be developed along the lines of the station already established on the Isle of Grain. The unit at Felixstowe was commissioned 5 August 1913 on the River Orwell at Landguard under the command of Captain C. E. Risk, Rumours Seaplanes, Felixstowe followed by Lieutenant C. E. H. Rathbourne, RN in 1914 and Lieutenant Commander John Cyril Port, RN 1915, RNAS Felixstowe was created soon after the outbreak of World War I following the formation of the Royal Naval Air Service 1 July 1914, from the naval wing of the Royal Flying Corps RFC. Three large hangars 300 feet long and 200 feet wide, with slipways were built by Norwich engineers Bolton and Paul and camouflage paint schemes applied, the base would become the largest operational seaplane station in the United Kingdom. Topic operation As the name implies, the unit designed seaplanes and flying boats. These were generally known by the Felixstowe name although, apart from the prototypes, these flying boats were built by aircraft manufacturers such as Short Brothers, Dick, Kerr & Co., and Phoenix Dynamo Manufacturing Company the latter two forming part of English Electric in 1918–1919. Upon Port's recommendation, the station was initially equipped with Curtis flying boats. He improved their hull designs, before developing the Felixstowe flying boats from those experiments. Many Felixstowe boats were built under license in the USA. The craft were flown on long-range patrols to spot the German high seas fleet and zeppelins, with many based at RNAS Felixstowe. A seaplane carrier, HMS Vindex based at Felixstowe, planned to operate against the zeppelins. The aircraft, two Bristol Scouts, took off from a short improvised runway on the forward deck. The station also serviced aircraft of the carriers Engadine and Campania. On the 24th of April 1916, trials were run in conjunction with the submarine service at Parkston Quay to test the carriage and launching of two Sopwith Schneider seaplanes carried on the deck of submarine E-22. E-22 was sunk the following day off Great Yarmouth by German U-boat SM UB-18. To begin with, the flying boats had little success against U-boats until the introduction of the spider web system of patrolling. The patrols capitalized on the practice of U-boats signaling by wireless their homing position, which could be picked up by wireless stations at Hunston, Lowestoft and Birchington. The «spider web» used the North Hinder light vessel, a Dutch-maintained light ship 55 miles from Felixstowe and the Hook of Holland as a center point. An octagonal figure was drawn with eight arms radiating out from a distance of 30 miles from the center. A set of circumvential lines then joined the radial arms at 10, 20 and 30 miles making eight sectors, each sector divided into three sections. As the patrolling flying boat flew up and down each sector line, the area was surveyed twice on any patrol and two sectors of the web could be patrolled in under five hours. A flying boat would take off from Felixstowe and head for the North Hinder light vessel then fly along a sector line, determined by previous instructions gained from wireless plots, and then along the patrol lines of the sector. Web patrols commenced 13 April 1917. To increase the range of the aircraft, experiments were carried out in the launch and retrieval of flying boats and biplanes from specially designed lighters towed behind destroyers of the Harwich Force. On the formation of the Royal Air Force 1 April 1918, the unit was renamed the Seaplane Experimental Station, Felixstowe, and disbanded in June 1919. Topic. Successor The base and its facilities were later used by the Marine Aircraft Experimental Establishment from 1 April 1924 until the Second World War. It was also used as a base by the Schneider Trophy team, the high-speed flight. RAF Felixstowe closed 21 June 1962. Topic. Designs Felix Stowe Port Baby Felix Stowe F.1 Felix Stowe F.2 
Felix Doe F.3 Felix Doe F. 5 Felix Doe F. 5 L Felix Doe Fury Topic. Station commanders Captain C. E. Risk, Room 1913-1914 Lieutenant C. E. H. Rathborn, RN 1914-1915 Commander J. C. Port, RN 1915-1918 Wing Commander C. E. Risk, RAF 1918-1919 Wing Commander I. T. Courtney, RAF 1919-1922 Flying Officer F. Wilton, RAF 1922-1924 Wing Commander C. E. H. Rathborn, RAF 1924-1925 Wing Commander R. B. Maycock, RAF 1925-1928 Group Captain G. R. Bromet, RAF 1928-1931 Group Captain A. J. Milley, RAF 1931 to 1936. Group Captain E. J. P. Burling, RAF 1936 to 1939. Wing Commander D. G. Fleming, RAF 1939-1940. Wing Commander W. B. Hellard, RAF 1940 to 1942. Wing Commander N. Keeble, RAF 1942-1943. Wing Commander L. G. Martin, RAF 1943 to 1945. Group Captain W. G. Abrams, RAF 1945-1946. Group Captain W. P. Welch, RAF 1946 to 1948. Group Captain C. A. Watt, RAF 1948-1949. Wing Commander D. H. Thomas, RAF 1949 to 1951. Wing Commander C. V. Wynne, RAF 1951 to 1953. Wing Commander J. A. Chalton, RAF 1953-1954. Wing Commander W. O. Jones, RAF 1954 to 1956. Wing Commander R. P. Burton, RAF 1956-1957. Wing Commander J. T. O. Sullivan, RAF 1957-1960. Wing Commander C. F. Price, RAF 1960-1961 Wing Commander C. H. Baker, RAF 1961-1962 See also Aeroplane and Armament Experimental Establishment at Martlesham Heath RAF Coastal Area